Harry Potter and the Cursed Child opened to critical acclaim on Broadway in the spring of 2018. The mega hit went on to win six Tony Awards, including Best Play. So you experience the wizarding world like never before. And I'm telling you, like never before from mm -hmm. the moment you arrive. And I was so fortunate enough to get the chance to meet some of the show's stars and uh, maybe try out a spell or two or three. Take a look. Albus and Scorpius have given me some instruction. Let's see if I know what I'm doing. Lumos. Joel Myers plays Harry's headstrong son, and Scorpius, the son of his evil rival, is played by Eric Christopher Peterson. What is it like to be a part of this literally magical production? It's a dream come true in every way. I really grew up on, on the, the Jim Dale audiobooks. Ah, and, I love uh, audiobooks. Road, road tripping with my family, and, and uh, I, had, I had Draco robes, I had Harry robes, okay, so, I had so you're, wands. So you identify as a Slytherin then? I, I am a Gryffindor. You are a Gryffindor. But I think, I guess, maybe I've always wanted to be a, a Slytherin. You're a Slytherin rising. It's, it's no easy feat. I mean, the, the, the choreography is incredible. The special effects are out of this world. Was that hard to kind of nail down when you first joined the company? It's a lot of moving parts at once. You know, you're trying to tell this very beautiful story over three and a half hours, but at the same time, you've got to be standing here, not here, so that you're lit and not going to be catch on fire or something like that. Incendio! You're Albus Potter, and I am Scorpius Malfoy. It's a cultural touchstone that transcends generations. The beauty of live theater is that we get a, a different audience yeah. every night and mm -hmm. so we get to experience it with them. Last night we had a girl dressed up in her Ravenclaw robes at the stage door and she was so excited. Harry's office really is a mess. Is there anything we can do about this? Scourgeify! Steve Haggard transforms into Harry Potter eight times a week. Now this is where I uh, get ready to be Harry Potter. When you were asked to do this, has your perspective on what you thought it was going to be changed now that you've been in it for a little bit? The more I've done the show, um, the more, th the bigger of a gift it's become. A lot of our audience has come in with um, a relationship with these characters. Already. This is a continuation of that relationship. And so it's grown in meaning to me because I feel like I have responsibility to that relationship. It's still sometimes when I walk to work, I, 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 I kind of can't believe it. I got my own magic moment thanks to makeup supervisor Sarah Jordan and a little help from Harry himself. It's a transfer. It goes on like a sticker. How do I look, Harry? For your finishing touches as a wizard, you will need a robe, a wand, and lastly, some Harry glasses. Of course. You're a wizard, Alex. <laughs> Harry Potter. Oh my gosh. The boy who true. lived. I come to die. So I saw this one the day after, and I said, Where'd your lightning bolt? She goes, Where's your lightning strike? Where's your lightning strike? I took it off. I, I actually left it on for the rest of the day, wow, though. Wow. How Ta cool is that? Honestly, file that under one of the coolest things I've ever gotten to do. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, waited in line outside of Borders Books oh in Jersey gosh. to meet J.K. Rowling mm -hmm. and have her sign when I was like 11. Love the books, love the movies, love the show, love those guys, and what so an great. honor to meet them, and I'm so impressed by that whole production, yeah. Run, Don't Walk. Yeah. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child is now playing at the Lyric Theater. 